Ball County School Superintendent Dr. Diana Green is retiring this summer in what the school board chair calls a mutual agreement. Some board members say they're not happy with how everything was handled. My issue is with the way that this is happening underneath and not in front of the public. This is the first time they've gotten to hear any of this. In an emergency meeting this afternoon, the school board voted four to three to accept a retirement agreement with Dr. Green. Her contract was just renewed last summer for four more years and was set to expire after the 2026 school year. Today's vote comes during a contentious time within the district. Several teachers are under investigation at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. We have a team of reporters covering the story. We start with News for Jacks reporter Ann Maxwell, who joins us live from school district headquarters. Ann. Mary, the board met here for nearly two and a half hours today and it got contentious. Board chair Kelly Coker said this was mutual. She said there wasn't any one thing that led to her decision to support Dr. Diana Green stepping down, but other board members have suggested she was forced out. Some on the board wanted to wait until next week before making a decision, but others said the board needed to take action now amid reports the district okay, hasn't been properly reporting um, teacher misconduct, so as well as the outcry second. that's come after the arrest of Douglas Anderson music teacher Jeffrey Clayton. Dr. Green and her attorney have been working with the city's office of general counsel to hammer out an agreement. That was what the, what the board approved today. She will receive five months severance and will have her sick days paid out, bringing her full payout to about $135,000. She will officially retire on July 24th, but she'll step back from her duties on June 2nd. Dr. Green has been with DCPS since 2018. She was named Florida Superintendent of the Year in 2021. Last month, the Florida Education Commissioner threatened to slash her salary because he said 50 cases of misconduct were not reported to the state in a timely manner. She responded saying she didn't know about the late reporting and pledged to look into it and take action. The external investigation uh, conducted by an outside law firm is also looking into this. Some have called Dr. Green's targeting political, but others have said it's just her time to step aside. For me, this was a vote about doing what I believed was good and right for the children, the teachers, and the principals in Duval County. And I, I felt that at this time, it was time for a change. I looked at objective facts and data as it relates to graduation rate, as it relates to NAEP scores, as it relates to declining enrollment. I didn't solely base my decision on any one single factor. The board will continue to meet here in the coming weeks to discuss hiring an interim superintendent. Live from the South Bank and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.